guys, Nate from Richard's Guitar Studio, and this is the sixth lesson on our arpeggio uh, series. And today I want to kind of put the brakes on with the technique just for a second and talk about how you figure out the name of an arpeggio. So really the purpose of this is if you're playing in a band or if you're improvising or whatever and you have a chord progression uh, to solo over and you want to arpeggio, arpeggiate over some of those chords, you have to be able to locate them correctly on the, on the guitar so they sound right. So um, we've learned three shapes so far, the major, the minor, and the diminished. So that's going to take up a lot of the chords that you're going to be using uh, when you're playing songs. Sometimes there's other chords like sevenths and all that, and we, we're going to get to that, but um, the most, most of the chords are going to be major or minor, especially. So. Uh, what you need to do is figure out the names of the notes on the A string because that's that's where we're playing our root. When we learned all those arpeggios in, in videos one through five, the root was on the A string. So the first thing we need to do is is learn the music alphabet on that string. So the music alphabet is A through G, and then there are uh, two sets of notes that are right next to one another that don't have sharps and flats in between them, and that's B and C and E and F. So with that in mind, let's just go through, and you can play along with me on the open A string. So play open A, and then when we're moving higher, we're, we're doing sharp. So the first fret is A sharp, second fret is B, and then already we're at B to C, or right next to one another. So after B is C, no B sharp. So that's C, and then C sharp, and then D, D sharp, E, this is the other one, E and F are right next to each other, so F is next, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then A. So I would practice doing that um, on your own, and really try to you know, count up properly. Um, so if you're, uh, let's say you're playing a song that's in the key of E, and there's a big E chord, alright, and you want to play an arpeggio over that E chord. Well, you have to be able to find E, so A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E is on the 7th fret. So now you know, you put your pinky there and do your arpeggio, alright? Okay. Once you have that all the way to the 12th fret, the reason we have that double dot there marking the 12th fret is that it's the octave. So once you get to 12, it's the same as the open string, A and then A. So basically this top half of the guitar is a miniaturized version of this over here. So once you know this one, then you know this up here too, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, and so on all the way up. Alright, so they're all the sharps. Now you want to look at flats. Let's say your song has a B flat chord in it, or an E flat chord in it. Well, you want to be able to find the flats too. So A is on the 12th fret. Let's start on 12. And we're going to go down the, the guitar for flats. So A, A flat, G, G flat, F, and then F and E are right next to one another. So F goes right down to E, and then E flat, and then D, D flat, C, C and B are right next to one another, so B is next, B flat, and then open A. Alright, so they're all the flats. And again, this is a great you know, part of your warm up or whatever, you just try to do, say all the sharps all the way up and the flats all the way down. Next thing uh, to notice is that um, the, the frets that had sharps and, and flats on them, uh, they, they share a fret. So for example, when we went upwards, we went A to A sharp. We were coming back down, we called that B flat. So it could be called A sharp or B flat, depending on what key you're, on, what key you're in. So that is called enharmonic. So when two notes are enharmonic, they share the same pitch or the same fret, and they're called by two different names. So you could say A sharp and B flat 
are enharmonic. So, um, so okay. Basically, let's say you have uh, a chord progression that you're playing that's A minor. Uh, you know, let's get away from A minor. Let's do E minor. So E minor, and then C, and then uh, D. So E minor, C, and D. And let's say you're playing a solo and you want to arpeggiate those notes. You need to find those. So E minor, we need to find E. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and then E is on the 7th fret. So since it's a minor chord, you have to use the minor shape, which we did a couple videos back. So you do E minor. Alright, so there's your e, e minor arpeggio. Next chord was C, C major. So we have A, A sharp, B, C. So this is a little low on the guitar to sweep. I mean, I guess you could do it. I mean, but with the open strings, it makes it really, you know, difficult. So what you can do is take that up the octave. So remember, your octave was A up here on 12th fret. So you go A sharp, B, C, which is the same note. And then you do your major... Um, your major shape there, major arpeggio shape. And then the next chord was D. So since I'm on C, D is pretty close, right? So C, C sharp, D is two frets away. So I'm just going to do my D major there. So, so far I have E minor, C, and then D. Now one other thing I can do is I'm noticing that my E minor chord is, or arpeggio, sorry, is way sort of out of the way of the C and the D. And I'm noticing that D can go up D sharp and then E up here, up the octave. So I can even play my E minor up here on the octave. lower, if you like the lower E minor and then go higher, you can do that. Yeah, sorry, bad note there, Dean. Uh, so, basically that's how it works. It's like matching, you know, the, the note name with the chord type. So, in that case, we had one minor chord, the E minor, and then two major chords. So, we had, we had the match the minor shape with the E, and then the major shape with the C and the D. And basically that's how you do it. So have fun with that. Feel free to post any questions.